Welcome to the kitchen. Today we are going to make low calorie lasagna. Believe it or not, you can have plenty of lasagna when you're trying to lose weight, when you're trying to build muscle, whatever it might be. What we have for ingredients are mozzarella cheese, pasta sauce, tomato sauce, whatever you want to call it. Sure, I got the basil, the tomato basil one. You can get whatever flavor you want. There's a garlic one, there's a meaty one, there's a veggie one, whatever you prefer. Cottage cheese, we went with 1% milk fat. And then grated Parmesan cheese, we're gonna use 30 grams of this. Um, but then nine oven ready sheet lasagna noodles. Those are super amazing. I, I've made this recipe one other time and it was a lot easier than I anticipated. And it turned out really good. So that's why I'm making a video with it. And lastly, I already browned the ground beef, so Two pounds of 93% lean ground beef, and of course I already put in two thirds to three fourths of this pasta sauce. The rest of it will go on the top when we make the, before we put it in the oven. So let's get to work. So now the only thing we need to do before assembling is make our cheese mixture. So we got mozzarella cheese. We're gonna go one and a half cups of that or 168 grams. I like to weigh everything out because that's the most accurate way. So let's add that. Now, as I mentioned, 30 grams of the grated Parmesan cheese. Perfect. Now from the fresh tub of cottage cheese, we're gonna take one and a half cups, which is equivalent to about 340 grams. And we'll just mix that all up until a fairly consistent texture. For assembly, you just do a thin, small layer of the tomato sauce and ground beef on the bottom, just to have a little foundation so the pasta has something to rest on. With this recipe, we're gonna go three layers, or three lasagna sheets per layer. So we'll put down the first three now. Simple as that, and then we got our other six here for the next few layers. But now, all you do is put one third of the remaining sauce on top of this layer, one third of the cheese mixture as well mixed in, and then do that time after time until you get the top layer of noodles. Now we'll just take the remaining sauce, which is for me about a fourth of the jar. Um, you could have up to a third of the jar remaining. So whatever you desire, it doesn't really matter. The calories are still gonna be the same. Every last drop though. And now another half cup of mozzarella, about 50, 56 grams. To top her off. Beautiful. Then we'll lightly spray some foil with spray <laughs> and then put that on top and then we'll bake it at 350 for 45 minutes and then for another 15 minutes with of the foil. Ooh, that looks good. I am really excited. Second time having this and it looks better this time, honestly. Let's go over some of the nutrition now, the calories and the protein, carbs and fats and all that. In one eighth of the pan, it is 407 calories, 37 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of fat. So that's really dang low calorie for lasagna. Absolutely amazing. And only 25 grams of carbs, which is absurd to think about. Um, and if you decided to go six servings within this entire pan per serving, it is 543 calories, 52 grams of protein, 33 grams of carbs, and 21 grams of fat. So that's still really low calorie. And of course, your boy needs to eat here. And I'm gonna go with one sixth of the pan, that 543 calories. So let's check her out. Yes, boom. 
Such a beautiful sight. Only 543 calories, I think that's what I said, which is amazing. You can have lasagna when you're trying to burn fat and you can enjoy your food. You don't have to eat salads and super low calorie stuff to where you're feeling restricted. Like this is a good portion of food. Of course, I'm gonna have some veggies on the side, probably just some frozen peas, uh, microwave that, and that's an easy meal. It's really not that difficult. Like if you're cooking for the family too, you can make this one night and it doesn't take that long. The amount of preparation it takes is very little. You just have to wait for it to cook an hour in the oven, but it is so worth it. So instead of cottage cheese, you could replace that with ricotta, change it up a little bit. Uh, also some things that I didn't mention that you could add as far as seasonings go are garlic salt or garlic powder, uh, minced garlic, um, or any Italian seasoning, basil, stuff like that for some extra flavor. I didn't add any additional basil because the pasta sauce that I went with was tomato basil. But when I did brown the ground beef, I did add some garlic salt to that. So garlic, I think, is key to any Italian dish or any dish at all because garlic is probably the best seasoning there is. So let's, let's have a bite here. Cheese pull, nothing insane, but... Wow, 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 wow. Okay, I expect you guys to make this this week and let me know what you think. So all you need is the six ingredients, honestly. Got the pasta sheets, the tomato sauce, the beef, the cheese, the cottage cheese, the Parmesan. That's all you need, you're good. And then veggie on the side. Do not forget that, because you need your fiber as well. So, cheers. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna enjoy this lasagna. And let me know if you try this. This is probably, this is a top three of my favorite meal preps that I've made so far, behind the sesame chicken and the Thai peanut chicken. So if you wanna find those, you can find those on my website at harrisonzfit.com. And this one isn't quite on there yet, but it will be up on the website very shortly. Eat up, don't be as scared of pasta or Italian dishes, pizza, any specific thing. You can have absolutely anything in order to reach your fitness goals. And this is proof of that. So plenty of protein, but make sure you do get the nutrients on the side as well. So cheers. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Mm.